Welcome to the Asphalt Video Store. Today's not is a interesting video. I'm actually going to a convention, yes, and you can actually see take my magnificent journey outside my door to the car, then driving, then to the convention itself. So yeah, we're going to Psych Anime 2021, the summer one. This is going to be Sunday and all that. I was really excited for this because I'm planning to meet Justin Briner and, Cle and Clepper Chapin and the voice actors of Deku and Bakugo. Okay, so yeah, I got my poster ready, my backpack, got my My Hero gear ready. So let's go. Why did I do that? Why does every YouTuber go, let's go and point towards the camera? Well, let's just go. So yeah, right now we're going to order some McDonald's and I saw a homeless man there. Alright, so right now we just made it here and all that. Uh, it looks pretty loud, like a lot of people here. Unlike uh, last time went to second me. Hey, which was the Swami, but then yeah, I think that, that was like a one or two day event. There's a little pizza showing up. There's a little pizza, you know. <laughs> Look at this, it's all amazing. Okay, he's gonna walk up to this escalator. These people. Level two. trying to find the autograph rooms and all that and see how I can get an autograph of Clifford Chat. Happen the voice of Bakugo and the voice of Deku uh, Justin Briner. Okay, so I think I'm going I'm getting close to it. There's a lot of panel rooms, yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff happening in the you know, panels themselves. No sitting or standing in this area. Area. Oh look, it's Pikachu! <laughs> oh, this is the Tokyo Ghoul panel. Everybody's waiting for Tokyo Ghoul for some reason. Why are you spoiling things? Why did it you do always do it at school too? Listen, listen, listen. What the That's a long leg, you know. Everybody's going to the the actual um, Tokyo Ghoul panel. I don't like Tokyo Ghoul or never seen their show or never plan to, so you know. Pika Pika! Oh my gosh, Pikachu is going to the Tokyo Ghoul panel. Never knew Pikachu could watch the anime. There he goes, Pikachu. I man, he's gone. So yeah, this is really cool. Oh, this is the aut <laughs> I did, I just realized this is like the Autumn Makers official uh, booth here. Look, you got like one of those same things and all that. Oh, I think you could say the Matrix from um, Transformers. This is pretty cool. In there. I think this is a game quest. <laughs> I have no idea what you have to do in that. In any case, I'm going down the escalators and get down to get to Margaret. The escalators we go. Mm -hmm. 
Man, going down the escalators is pretty fun. No, not. Oh, yes, I hit the jackpot, the autograph room. So I look in the autograph room and all that, and there's like this huge line and for Justin Briner's autograph, but he's, doesn't go, he's not going to appear until like an hour later from now. I'm quite hesitant to actually wait in that line. There's also one for Clifford Chapman, which is completely empty, but then again, his, his autograph doesn't start in two hours, and right now it's like 12.30, and an hour later, Justin Bryan is actually going to show up. And just look at Justin Bryan's line. Oh my gosh, it's a long line. And these people, oh look, it's already starting there, so and maybe I have to like, see about it. Son Shemmel's going to appear in a, in a few minutes and all that, but now I think about it, I wonder where the heck he's a sign. Sean Shemmel's like down there in the corner, there's already a huge line. Look at that. That's a huge line, you know? Someone is very lucky to be the first person there just waiting in line. Hey guys, I meet this uh, fellow fan here of my area academia and all that. So is this your first time at a convention? Uh, no, this, I've, I'm, I've frequent here a lot. I've, I've been to multiple. Alright, is this your first time meeting uh, Justin Briner? It is. I, I missed the chance um, a previous sack anime and then uh, I finally got the chance now. Alright, this is me too. My first chance to meet Justin Briner. Yeah. Uh, how excited are you in a level 1 to 10? I'm going to say an 11 because I stayed up until 1.30 making some art and I can't wait to show it off. Oh, cool. That's a... That's, oh, cool. Then let me show you. Almost got it. Alrighty then. Something funny is that I have never watched Dragon Ball. I've already got it signed by two people. Oh, cool. Yep. Um, now that's amazing. Thank you. Really good. It looks pretty cool. I like the detail there. Yeah. Zek anime up there. <laughs> exactly. I'm really happy with how it's So you got, out. so I'm presuming this is Bakugo, right? Yeah, I got Bakugo and then I got, uh, and I just got to uh, eat a, a yeah. little bit of those. So far I only have money for like uh, two of them, like just Justin and Clifford and all. Yep. In any case. So yeah, that's what you're going to bring them to sign? Exactly. Yeah, I got my My Academia Viz Media poster and all that to them to sign. Heck yeah. Yeah. I was actually thinking of bringing my Funko Pop, but I was like, you know, it would be awesome to just have like all, like some of the cast members on one thing autograph. Exactly, yeah. First, I've had, it's not the first time I've had my art signed. Um, have you ever played the uh, Persona 5? Uh, no, I haven't played Persona 5. Oh. Well, I got some of these art signed uh, by one of the voice actresses uh, back in June. Oh, cool. Let me just get a close up there. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. So, are you ready ready to wait in line for an hour? I have waited in line for two and a half hours before for stuff. I, it's not my first time waiting in line. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a long time stander. I, I, I like using my legs, so uh, I'm ready to wait as long as it takes. Yeah, me too. I'm ready to wait one hour in line and all that. I think the longest I've waited in line was 30 minutes or 20 or 30 minutes for, you know, the Red Power Ranger. I forgot his name, but I waited I wait 30 minutes to actually meet him and it was pretty cool. It was worth it because the line just grew behind me. Yeah, I think the shortest line I've ever gone in was probably, um, it was uh, Donna Bennett. Uh, she was here, like, a previous sack anime. There was no one in the line, so I just pretty much walked up and I'd say it took 30 seconds. Oh, cool. The shortest line for me is uh, back in Toy Expo 2019, no, 2018 in Toy Expo. I got to meet Alan Oberheimer, and there's nobody in his line. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see how this goes. All right, then. What well, brought some reading literature with me in order to wait in this long line? In any case, so is there anything around today? Um... Not really much. I, I I wish I could have been here with my friends, but that's okay too. I'm, I'm having fun by myself, and um, yeah, I'm just I'm just enjoying all the cosplays and just the environment. It's really nice to be around and see people. Yeah, me too. I'm also enjoying the cosplays as well. Oh, one thing that caught that caught me by surprise. You know the YouTube channel Audi Makers. Uh, sort of, I think. Yeah. yeah, they like made like some Michael Godzilla head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've Thank seen you. Yeah, they were like up there in the second floor. Yeah. And I got to see it and I was like, cool, oh, cool. In any case, up oh, now we wait for one hour. Alright, so it's already past uh, 1.30 and Justin Briner arrived, right? 
like, I'm not Justin Briner, but like, uh, just no, I mean, you have to rely on information. I'm Very obvious. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to zoom in. The broccoli man. <laughs> the broccoli man. I mean, I'm not wrong. So I got my Mario Academia poster ready, mm -hmm. and all them, okay, and my backpack. So yeah. How long do you think we could wait here? I'm gonna guess between 40. Given the length of this line, I'm gonna say probably 45 minutes at the least to one hour and 40 or one hour and 32 minutes. I'm going to say 20 minutes, or unless everybody starts having long conversations with them. I, I, I don't think 20 minutes is gonna. I mean, if we were right here, 20 minutes. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Right, right here. Yeah, we're right here. We're yeah. in like the very middle of the line. Yeah, I can't believe we made it enough that the line, the line closed and all that. We made it just in time. <laughs> Kept our attention, like we. But in like case, maybe six, so yeah, now we'll be waiting. Look, we made it here just in time. The line was closed. We did it, man. <laughs> yeah, we did it, man. We made it here. Yes, we Thank made you. it to the corner. <laughs> oh my gosh, a corner, and we have to deal with another corner. In case it's not polygons on my time. <laughs> In case. Never for spheres. Spheres. I don't really like spheres. I like squares. Yeah. You know, I'm also taking an anatomy class. I want to break your fibula. What's a fibula? It's a bone. No, it's a bone. No, I like oh, I see. In any case, but I don't like squares because I like keep things organized and fill into space, and circles just have that dead space in them. Well, circles, you can do anything with them, and they can start out, they can start as one thing and become something else. In fact, like, literally a lot of my drawings started as circles. Oh, I see. Yeah, you know, draw a circle for the face, move things down, um, you know, like, um, totally, like, blank out for a little while. Next thing you know, you have the art that I just shared a little while ago. Oh, yeah. What if a car was made into a sphere? The sphere mobile. The sphere mobile. Like, how would it look like? That's the better question. Uh, well, it probably have two wheels in the front, two wheels in the back. It'd be a circle, and then uh, you drive it. No, I'm like thinking, like, what if, like, you know, the flight saucer thing? What if you took that but put it on the road? I mean, there's weirder things that are allowed on the road. Have you, like, I don't know, it's, it's... There's like a Flintstones car somebody made. Yeah, there's like, yeah, like a Flintstones car. Oh, look, a dog! <laughs> Oh, yeah, the service dog. Yeah, service dogs are I, nice. I have a personal philosophy. I, I salute every service dog. Because they, they just do uh, such a great job at everything they do. Yeah. Just gotta, gotta give credit for credit's due. Yeah. There's some cosplayers seeing some photos over there. Son Schimmel's line is still long. It looks pretty strong. Let me fight it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I like how the Myra Canadian line is like already popular. Yeah. And, you know that? Um, Four nine nine line is so small. Um, well, there's still people in the front of the finish line. Yeah. I think uh, J. Michael and uh, Brandon are actually married. Wait, who? 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 J. Michael, Tatum, and, and Brandon. Uh, I think I think they're actually like. Well, I, I know that they're dating. Like, I don't know if they got married yet. I don't know. Correct us us in the comments section and all that. Hey, do you think a dress Justin Bryan will win and fight All Might or Kenshiro? See, I think, I think All Might would lose because he's strong. Like, well, that depends. Is he like in his like hero, like early hero years where he's like you know he, he no like uh, like All Might when like, he's like strong. Right now, like, so, yeah. No, no, not like right now when he's in his like regular form. Well, no, no, I mean like because like he's you know, he can only last for so long before he goes back. Okay. So like, is this before Ultra One attacked or, or like one like? Well, it's like let's just say like you know, he can turn to his hero form whenever he wants to. And okay, so, like yeah. All Might in his hero form versus Ken Cheryl in his regular in his like regular form. Like uh, Kenshiro in his regular form is already deadly. I gotta say Kenshiro because like All Might, I don't know, there's, there's not too much evidence to show how strong All Might is. I mean, now that he, he can lift stuff, he is pretty strong, but yeah. there's a lot of things kind of going against him. And like we didn't, you know, the, the show definitely focused more on everyone else's fights yeah. than his own fights. I mean, sure, he fought the Nomu and, you know, was able to, you know, like knock it out of the ring. But that was after like, you know, so long of fighting, like, like almost in like 30, 20 minutes of fighting. Yeah. To be honest, I'm thinking Kenshiro, but the funny thing is that like, Kenshiro is like the only enemy protagonist that might beat anybody up. It's just too powerful. So right now we're getting closer to Justin Briner. It's going to be pretty cool and all that. Are you excited, man? 
I'm tired, man. <laughs> Actually, my legs are pretty tired, but I think I could survive. Well, I mean, like, I, I, I've been, I only slept like seven hours. I only slept about uh, four and a half. Mad respect, bro, mad respect. Don't worry, I've been drinking some Mountain Dew this morning. But okay, so let's uh, wait on it and see what will happen. This is cool. I'm actually going to meet Justin Burner. Yeah, I'm saying the poster. Thank you. You got whoever's next right over here. Hey, Ryan. Thank you. Hello, Justin hey, Burner. Oh, that's doing good. Uh, can you please uh, sign my poster here? You got it. Do you uh, have your name or anything on uh, that? No. Uh, oh, I want you to sign in plus ultra 64. Okay. Or and also your name and all that. Yeah. Let's see. Plus ultra 64. You become okay. a hero. Can I also like, uh, take a picture and all that? Okay. Alrighty. I can take the photo if you like. Oh, uh, you can take the photo? Cool. Yeah, I can take the photo. Alrighty then. Alright. Alright. Uh, three, two, one. Alright, thank you very much. So both of us just got to meet Justin Briner and all that. I yep. got my outside. Three heroes today. Oh, three heroes? Yeah, yeah three. Bakugo, Ida, and now and now Deku. Oh, that's cool, man. So yeah. how did the first experience go for you? Well, I think the first one was really quick and easy. Um, J. Michael was the one I wanted to meet the first time because, like, you know, he gave me some wonderful advice about, you know, like, never being afraid of failure. I'm going to be honest, I forgot the entire speech. <laughs> but like the fragments I remember, I wanted to tell him personally that like I, I really enjoyed it and that I just yeah that I you know, just really made me happy. And then I saw you know like the Bakugo line was pretty much empty at the time, so I went there. That was a little short conversation, but I, I personally Bakugo is my favorite character, and so I thought hey let's go there see how things go. And then just the Justin Briner line that's like you know like that's I've I've only missed two voice actors in my life, and I finally met one of them. Uh, Bryce Poppenbrook is next I'm hopefully. Sorry, you can't video in here. Oh I'm Bye. sorry. Alright then, I just uh, finished uh, getting the autographs for like an hour, for like a, like more than two hours, waiting an hour for line, then Justin Bryan showed up, waited 40, 30 or 40 minutes, then got his autograph, wait 30, another 30 minutes in line to get, to get somebody else's autograph, uh, Clifford Cha to get Clifford Chapman's autograph. Now I'm here, I was actually thinking of getting authenticated in my autographs, but I was like, you know, screw it, I'm not going to wait in line. So let's go to exhibit hall. Oh good. Correct. Oh wait, I think it's walking. There it is. There's the stuff to buy. Oh shoot, I... We got the The Tomb of Dracula. This is what's cool. Oh wait, this is the anime Tomb of Dracula. Frankenstein, live action Spider-Man. Trigger <laughs> Spider-Man, of course. It's actually three death Adam. What else you got here? The Trucker Stars, the full screen edition. Oh, No, he says it's $10. I maybe might buy that. Rebuild 2, because of DVD for that. Look at those light hair ones, they're so cool. Wait. Good time to serve. Excuse me, can I buy this? Sure. Alright then. Bye. Oh, good taste on you. Did you see the one from France that just came out? Wait, there's a France one? 
Oh, cool. It's originally based on the French uh, detective novel from the late 1800s. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to remember. It was like... It's on Netflix. It was yeah. like based on this, but I'm trying to remember the name. Oh, but because Lupin. of the... Like, yeah, Lupin yeah. and all that. I've been looking for trying to find it, and it's pretty cool. Now I actually got oh, it and all that. Oh, that's great. You're going to have such a great night. I love the yeah. fin as I, well. I heard the theme, and it was a pretty good theme and all that. I think song yeah. and all. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. Enjoy I'm going to still look around, so maybe I might get something oh, else. Absolutely. I'm here till yeah. we close. All right. No worries. This is the best thing I got so far. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Well, we have the same taste, so. All right. Yeah. Thanks. More DVDs. Uh, Attack of the Super Monsters. Is this the one you want? Yeah. What's this? Samurai Adventure. That's a, that's a, wait a second. Tiger, but it's a Ah, purple. Three Samurai, there you go. Oh, Branded to Kill. Branded to Kill is a pretty cool movie. Maybe might buy that. Tomb of Dracula maybe might buy this. Lensman. Monster Mare. Oh, I'm just going to Lensman of you because this is so cool. Google of 13. The Sunny Chiba Collection. DVD R. The Lost World of Sinbad. Is this a widescreen version? Samurai Zom. That's a that's an awesome title. Uh, it's fine. I found this, which is pretty awesome. Oh, really? Look at there. Yeah. Oh, it's an old one too. Yeah. That's cool. I actually found out about it recently, and I thought, why there's a live-action anime back in the 70s? 74, that's 74. awesome. 74. Yeah, the uh, original anime was uh, not dubbed, but it came across the yeah. seas uh, back then. Yeah. So. I'm, for, I'm going to try to convince my cousins to watch this with me. Yeah, it's kind of a tough one to get started. Yeah. All, there's no dub, it's all uh, subs. Yeah, but it's not. It, like, cool. My cousins are used to it, like, they watch anime. They're going to figure it out. Yeah. Oh, Turkish Star Wars? There's a 2K restoration of that, but yeah. it hasn't been released to the public. It's only, like, played in theaters. I but, love it. But I think it's a right issue because, you know, Star Wars, but yeah, it's... it's it's also terrible, I can see by the way that it is. I think I tried to watch it once without the subtitles, but I didn't understand it at all and just left the room. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to do something useful with my life. Subtitle too, on my foreign ones yeah. as well. Yeah. These are so cool. Like, I don't know even where you found these. These are really amazing. I love my Turkish Spider-Man. Yeah, I look at this Turkish Star Wars. Right? It's yeah. crazy. Star Wars is so good. The and Star Trek you is have really Ewoks good. even. Yeah. Do you remember the theme song from that? No, I only heard about it. I never watched it. Oh, you haven't. Oh yeah, I, I, I kind of follow some weird nerd so, things, and this is one of them so for sure. So about that is I feel... Obviously, I'm older. Yeah. Um, Words of the Wind. The 70s and 80s, we were so mellow about stuff. Oh, yeah, you just let so, it fly. That's yeah. Cool. So that you listen cool. to the Ewok theme song. Yeah. And I'll ask people to sing it who have seen it, yeah. and it's the funniest thing. I know. Because it goes like this. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it does. Kind of the floor. Wait, how much is the Words of the Wind DVD? It's like Super 70. All oh, right. Like Super awesome. That's, that's great. Country, just that's like of the beast. Just stoned up. Trying to like high on thrills, like, yeah, writing it out. I like, could do an Ewok song. Just say Ewoks really long. That's the song. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's the song. I kid you Robo not. Robocop is Ewoks. Uh, I'm like, I have how to watch many E's are in it? Now. Yeah, I have to watch it now. I'll, I'll figure it out. It's yeah. cute, yeah. That's cool. Six point five. Yeah. So you, know, you can tell it's the earlier 80s, whereas like when you get to G.I. Joe and Thundercats, it's like burp, 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 oh, yeah. burp, burp, oh, yeah. were like, Those were action, like, yeah, yeah you're like, no. Deal, like, all deal. Things are for kids. Like, uh, talk very slow to them. It's like watching the new He-Man. The Last oh, Dragon. I, I watched the original, it was cool, like really cool, but it was definitely Ridiculous. 80s. There's, yeah. And watching this one, I'm like, okay. Oh, they uh, okay. Like, yeah. The Sword of Doom. Look at that for turning on to other people. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it works, but it's yeah. absolutely yeah. machine. That's how I felt about the Shira. I was like, oh, Lady Snowblood. Let me down a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we'll keep hopping around. Let's get yeah, for sure. Return of Kung Fu. Oh, that Kung Fu one is so good. Oh, Alright. Yes. And I love the Kung Fu movies. Yeah. Like, 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 I love the Kung Fu movies. Ye
have a really good exploitation Australia horror movie one too in there. Oh, cool. I read the Courage, the Star Wars movie that nobody talks about. Pins, some cool pins. Yeah, my dad really likes Blue Demon and all that. Jimmy on the Titan. He's doing a little bit of DJ. So drunk. Armand and the Five Common Rock. Oh, wait, what? what? Yeah. Armand and the Seven Ultra Man. Yeah. This is pretty good. Branded to kill. Rare Japanese science fiction TV shows. Giants and toys. Look at this. Warned by the words of the Wendy video. I'm not paying an extra for a beat test tape. Hey, I want oh, by the words of the Wendy video. You found the gem there, eh? Yeah. I'm sure you know the story behind that. I don't know. Yeah, New World Pictures uh, got it, and they cut out 20 men and made it a kid's film and all of them. Right? Yeah. Cool, just my looks for you. Wow, I have that. Alright, let's look around other stuff. Uh, what do they have here? I think I spent too much time in all that. What's my battery? Shields! Got some My Hero Funko Pop. And also some... That, the, that figure I really want to get the Deku figure, but I think it's a bit too expensive. Got this uh, shirt. The second anime shirt. Very cool, right? Okay, so let's go there. So they gave me a time limit on my semi I have to meet them at the entrance at 3.30. So yeah, oh, look, who are over there? Oh, I know this artist. I saw them on, I think, this plate. And all that. This is pretty cool. These are amazing. Hey, how much are these? Uh, I think 28. 28? Uh, $28. Yeah. Oh, okay then. Why do you have $28? This is cool, you know. Loot crates and all the socks. What's up? Uh, the Ultraman puzzle. Pretty cool, dude. The Ultraman figures. <gasps> How about the uh, Japanese toy stuff? Let's see what they got here. <laughs> My Zinger Z is 200. Really? Bigger, bigger. Oh okay. god, look at these toys. This Godzilla figure looks pretty cool. I think this is nice. 
Famicom games? Uh, Scotty. Famicom? Yeah, Super, uh, yeah, the old, the original Famicom. Oh, okay. No, no, no. If you've got like a Retro so one, two, one, two, or three, they'll play those. Oh, okay. Who knew they had Astro Boy? Godzilla. Do I want to have for 40 bucks? Yeah, yeah, it's a little rough. Okay, yeah. No, I was just filming. I was like, when I was small, I was going to be a I was like, I was called Gigantic. Yeah. But he, but he, he looked like a human. It's a movie on VHS or something there with you and see, right? Yeah, you want to That was cool. And I think I'm running out of time here. So yeah, maybe I'm I'm most likely getting those shoes. But before that, I'll probably check out. Maybe get the shoes first, then check out the other booth, the movie booth over there. Okay, so let's just keep walking here and see what else I could spend my money on. Fleshy. We love fleshy. A YouTuber pillow. I'm. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. Batman, the Ghostbuster, and Baymax in the same same place. Got more Funko Pop. Oh no, guys. Excuse me. Uh, the shoes are twenty-eight dollars, right? Yeah. All right, I buy them. Got cash. These are now mine, and I'm proud. And I will never open them. Excuse me? What's this? What's this? It's a book of that art. Huh? It's a book of his art. Of his art. All his woodblock. Oh, wait, is this the guy who made that tidal wave one? Yeah, oh, same guy. And it's seems like a pretty big book. Everything. Everything. Yep. This that, company does really, really good art books. All right then. DVDs. <laughs> what the heck is this? Those are a collection of all the intros. Oh, a collection of all the intros of the Tokusatsu stuff. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Uh, complete series three disc DVD. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Hanuman versus Common Riders, I have, I have no idea. This I'm getting. I'm going to give them up to Take care, man. Trick or Spider Man. Observe. 
time master. Just the time master. This is so extreme Ghostbusters. Hey. Beast creature still granted to kill. The golden bat is just, I guess it's the sun film with Pizza and Sheba. So it's original trailer. Can I buy these? Yeah, because I heard you have the same taste in your juice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. My yeah. arms are so short, like a hamster. Uh. Yeah. I've seen uh, the, the art director of Brandon to Kill. All of them are that Ultraman is like a weird one. Yes, I'll Tokyo Drifter, I've seen. All right, 30 for you. Next time I see you, let's talk about that. I just love yeah. Suzuki. I just love Seijin Suzuki yeah. so much. Yeah. It was one of those things like I only brought it to this show because I didn't think people would like it. Oh, I like it. Okay. Uh, yeah, because we're friends, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, the same are you guys going to here in other conventions and all that? Always. My husband actually used to book the guests for here. Oh, cool. Yeah, so whenever we have really obscure Japanese guests, yeah. you can thank my husband. All right, then. Gosh, thank you so much. I'm so glad that's going to a good home. All right, thanks. Yeah, please take care. Good taste, Tanya. All right, you too. All right, bye. That movie booth over there is the best part of that convention, you know. Oh, I don't care if they have booth like DVDs there, but that's awesome. Now I gotta get out here because I decided to go to the entrance. Thank you. Let's uh, go. All right, everybody. So that's the convention all day. It was pretty fun. So that's all the video. Have a nice day, and later on, come back our come back to our video store.